Prince William has been spotted on his first royal engagement since the Princess of Wales' shock cancer diagnosis was revealed. The Prince visited a surplus food redistribution charity in Surrey where he reassured royal fans that he's taking good care of Kate after he accepted Get Well Soon cards for both his wife and his father, the King. Well, joining us for more on this is Mel on Sunday's Charlotte Griffiths. Charlotte, is it, what can we infer from this? Because obviously Prince William was told to look after his wife, which I thought was rather sweet, yes. actually. Um, but he's out and about. He's out and about. That's got to be a sign that Kate is not, you know, at her lowest, lowest ever. You know, so that's kind of a hopeful thing. Um, it's just a sign also that their Easter holidays have ended and they're just back in London, back to work. But I don't think we're going to see a lot of William. I just think it's going to be very sparing. You know, he's going to be very sparing with how much he goes out and about. I think one or two a week, I think, is all we can expect for now. But if I was going to be very optimistic, I'd say we can infer that Kate is getting better because but he's it, not at her side. And it's interesting you're saying that this isn't necessarily a full-time return to duties mm. after the Easter holidays. We're going to things are going to look rather different for a while while yes. he's supporting Kate and the children. Yes, I think from what I gather, Kate actually does want him to be back on royal duty because she believes in you know she believes in the royal family. Of course, she's mm -hmm. you know the star, but you know he feels very obligated to of course be with her. So what I've heard is that they're going to couple his events. So if he does a, one day of working, he'll do two events in a day, and then maybe a break for maybe up to another week, and then a couple of events. But he's not going to be doing you know two or three things all across the cu country, cutting ribbons for a, a week mm. at a time anymore. I mean, he looks so comfortable. Actually, I think he does this kind of stuff really well indeed. Yeah. Should we talk about his brother though? Because his brother, well, just explain what his brother's done in terms of a date that he's put in terms of uh, the US. Yes, well, he said that the date he, he officially stopped being a UK resident was uh, in 2023 when his father kicked him out of Frogmore Cottage, when he was evicted from Frogmore Cottage. And he could have put any date. He could have put 2020, which is when he left the UK, but instead he put that specific date. I think personally he's trolling his father, <laughs> to be honest, because it's just, it seems to me so spiteful that he put that date. Obviously he is a bit bitter that he got turfed out, but the reason that the King took that decision was because Spare had just come out and in Spare, Harry savaged Camilla, who mm. we all know is, you know, his father's favorite, you know, person in the world. So. It, 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 was, it was a bit of tit for tat, I think. There was also the feeling that the King didn't want to have all these empty mansions sitting around, yeah. wasn't mm. there? And that perhaps Prince Andrew, there in Royal Lodge, might have to downsize to Frogmore yeah. Cottage. Uh, there was cottage, talk at the time he would go anywhere. It's not cottage, really a cottage, yes. Uh, and that the yeah. Waleses could move into Royal Lodge. Well, that yeah. hasn't happened. They're settled at Adelaide Cottage, and as, as we've discussed, a lot else going on for them at the moment. Yeah, the Monopoly board was shifting at the time, wasn't it? And um, and don't forget, Harry spent 2.4 million quid doing this place up and then never really lived in it. So it might have just been Charles being frugal, you're right. Um, and uh, as you say, there was a lot of talk at the time that Andrew would move out of Royal Lodge and he never quite did. He sort of pretty much stood firm and refused Squatters to leave. Rights. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And let's just move to Meghan about American Rivi Riviera Orchard. So this hard is... to say, isn't it? Yeah, well, it is actually. And you'd think if you were choosing a domain name, you'd choose something rather shorter than that. But the UK yeah. one, it's not been, there's no cyber squatting on it. Well, I suppose, you, you know, just in terms of the URL, it goes somewhere else. Yeah, so. It looks like a very mischievous prankster has set up the website so that in Fred, it instead goes to the Trussell Trust, which is a food bank donations charity. And, uh, and it signed off, hope you don't mind, Meghan, Catherine. And of course, it's not Catherine, the Princess of Wales, but, you know, it had us all going for a second, probably. But it's some mischievous prankster just making the point that, you know, Meghan could be doing so much more with her new food brand and her jam and could be back at home being dutiful and doing royal service and, and helping out the poor and needy. But instead, she's marketing her lifestyle. And a mischievous prankster, potentially, but actually uh, something done with a heart for a pretty good cause here and yeah. in line with what we saw William doing yesterday all yeah. around food banks. And the Trussell Trust more or less endorsed it, if I was going to push it that far. You know, they said, it's a great cause and we're sort of grateful. By the way, it wasn't us, though. You know, it they were quite clear about that. It was quite a clever bit of marketing yeah, by someone, Great, actually. Great but marketing for the us. Trussell Trust, yeah. And, and so what happens, and we believe the King might invite Meghan and Harry to Balmoral this summer. What is yeah. going to happen? What will be the response to that? I think... 
even if Harry comes, I just can't imagine a world in which Meghan comes over with the kids. It's really sad. I mean, I, I honestly don't think it's going to happen, if I'm going to be honest. I don't know what you think so, but I just, there's no way in how Meghan's going to come over and stay at Balmoral, I don't think. No, and also, do you think it would actually be an invitation? Or will it be, as we've been told before, well, the door is always open? Yes, I mean, it's, it's well known that the Queen and now the King have the family over to Balmoral for the summer. So that's an open invitation and it's a really important part of the royal family's time together when they're not working. Mm. So, of course, Charles is never going to say you're, you're banned from Balmoral. I heard on the great... But the Waleses aren't going to be happy if... No, I mean, there's to. no chance that the two families would cross over, that's for sure. Um, but I heard on the grapevine that Meghan was never really very enamoured with the rural royal life and the sort of cold two-bar radiators and the boot rooms. And the California is where it's I mean, at. Can you imagine <laughs> Meghan stalking in the, in the Highlands all summer? I can't really, to Absolutely be honest. Absolutely, I can't either. Thank you yeah. very much indeed, Charlotte Griffiths.